Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. What? Huh? What? Just crunky to pets nemo. Chi ita kanki chan na kili ko. Chi wi aita ka chon chi cha. Agi inko tune chuna muri ra. A chua penki. Yun patisa. Oh, come on. Okay, so with this guy you can play 10 games of Pazak and the maximum wager that you can have with him is 600 credits. Agi inko tune chuna muri ra tangi wama jiko na chiwa e aita kan ki cha na kupor nipo kun muri ra snimo poi wanga chiwi aita ka chon chi cha agi inko tune chuna muri ra tangi wama jiko na chiwa e aita kan ki cha na kupor nipo kun muri ra snimo poi wanga Yikukumo no ba muli ra chikun tong hit kun chunching ne jedo ba do wana ni dibobo tong na bungsha no nunya tong patukas ma runda di ho tonga kun hanka bi. Wanna kun bez ching palamule tonking ba nunotek? Tuk ta kum jus tak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolbo. 
Chikun Itahodonga, Ikinkun Oba Mulera Chikun, Slimopod Tong Haitwam Jiji Jung Lumpa, Nita Poe Tikito, Dolpa da Bong Runda di Hodonga Kun Hunka B, Wana Kun Bez Ching Palamule, Tung King Ba Nunote, Takum Justak Miki, Grabble Mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. Tolba bank, wale oganda naru chuchut. Mogesha punga. Kachikun ita hodunga. Yikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Slimo podona. Runda di hodunga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching palamule. Muchishak pachat. Kiye no no da ma pauler. Ka chikun ida hodonga. Ikin kuno ba mulera chikun. Ronda di hodonga kun hanka di. Ona kun bez ching palamule tun ka chikun ida hodonga. Ikin kuno Kachiku Tong Achuta Wonga Kunbi. Watch yourself. We don't need anyone agitating the locals. I wasn't aware we were giving tours now. Believe me, you'd think they'd be grateful to leave this barbaric place. Greetings to you. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Matin is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a diluvian fat worm on a hut's backside. First off, hearts are all backside. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, uh, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Of course. You're in a hurry.
Hello again. What well, valued until you can't pay. Watch your credits. You hurt me, madam. It's the debt of your crew that keeps you here, not me. I don't concern myself with what goes on past this landing port. The walkies are mm, very difficult to deal with. No business sense. You mean they don't tolerate cheats? No, I mean they don't respect the finer points of a good business plan. Give and take. That's why the Zerka Corporation simply takes. You'd have to take your question to the Zerka Corporation and the walkies themselves. I keep to myself. Of course. Enslave? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man's fellows left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, I know. It's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you, especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. Something about this whole situation stinks worse than an overcrowded Ronto stable. What kind of friends would just abandon a crewmate? You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, madam. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Uh, it happens from time to time. Credits are scarce out here, and not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use of you as a mechanic. Very rare to find skills of your kind out here. Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matten is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> as I was saying, it's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point in exchanging debt to Eli with debt to you. Besides, he is a hard worker. I prefer to keep him. Uh, it happens. You'll get a uh, See you soon, I... Welcome to Adean. I trust you will find our facilities pass inspection. Zerka Corporation is very efficient. I'm sorry, I don't understand Wookiee speak. Shiri Wook, I think it's called. What did the Wookiee say? Zerka Corporation calls the planet Adean, and no, I don't understand the language. The local Wookiee leader has made it so we don't need to. Wookiees are unable to speak basic, but for the last decade, the residents of all local villages have been trained to understand it. I understand he works very closely with Zerka Corporation. He wants his people to work well with us. It eases tensions. <coughs> what did he say? I don't usually have a translator I can ask. I just work here in the lab. I, I don't have anything to do with the taking of slaves. I'm just an employee. You'll have to take your concerns to Janos. He's the voice for Zerka Corporation on this outpost. I don't have to justify myself to you. I do good work here. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. I'm conducting experiments on various samples of indigenous plant life. There may be untapped pharmaceutical resources here. Of course, that will take some time, and the Wookiees are a more immediate source of income. Please, I must return to my work. I'm sorry, but Director Janos will see to your questions. I must continue my work. 
Farewell. Our work here could be very important if any effort was put into it. I do my job and keep my mouth shut. <laughs>
You want to arrange a purchase? Go talk to the director in his office. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookiee hunters usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. You're the Wookiee lover? Why don't you tell me about them? I'm sure you're real close friends. <laughs> Keep your pet on a leash, or you'll be wearing him. I have no love for these animals. I've seen guards ripped to shreds. I don't take kindly to threats. Don't test me, Spacer. We've more than enough firepower to bury you here. Ah, you ain't so bad. Was there anything else you needed? I don't talk to Wookiee lovers. Get rid of your rug, and maybe I won't have you shot. I don't take kindly to threats. Ah, you... I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you. This isn't good. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. <laughs> Careful now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot! Of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? You're doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. Well, it is a bit costly. Look, why are you asking this? Is that a joke? Who do you think you are?
What? Blasters ready, men. This fool wants to die. Huh? Yes? Here! <laughs> 
Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Prisoner, just because he's chieftain, can he? 
out of here. You can count on us. Huh? Yes? Yes? Ah! 
It isn't an easy language to learn, what with all the growls and howls. Big Z told me the whole point was to make it difficult for outsiders to understand. Sure. 
Even more of these crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. I'm Jolie. Jolie Bindo. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk a bit. Ah, don't start fawning just yet. I'm too old for it. Uh, I, I know a few things, but we can talk about that. Keep close. It's nearby, under a log. Yeah, I live like some burrowing rodent. I fought the Sith. Now look at me. Welcome to my home, such as it is. Pull up a stump and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. Don't coddle me, child. I'm neither a Jedi nor your master. I'm just an old man that's been lost in the woods for far too long. My days of glory are behind me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. What is there to tell? Jolie Bindo is the crazy old man in the dangerous woods. I'm content with the impression I give. I follow the Jedi way and I command the Force, yes. I suppose that makes me as much a Jedi as anyone, but what of it? Why should being what I am compel me to entertain others with tales of the good old days, huh? I've seen my share of the dark and the light. Frankly, both extremes annoy me. Of course, I have felt rumblings of change. It's kind of nice to meet a Jedi who isn't all hung up on this light side, dark side stuff. Gets pretty tiring, you know? Perhaps you will be of some assistance to me after all. Let us discuss what you came here for. Ah, and it makes you think I may have the taint of the dark side in me, doesn't it? Ooh. Is that what you're wondering, huh? Ooh. Well, I assure you, I see more gray than dark or light. I'm just a stubborn old man, tired of the foolishness of others. <sighs> fine, fine, just be brief. Look, we've been through this before. My past is my affair. Get some years behind you and then we'll talk about me. I think you'll agree that we have more important things to discuss, no? <sighs> fine. Now, why would you be asking about that, hmm? Don't answer. I knew that had to be why you were here. The problems of a few Wookiees don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the map. Kashyyyk is an interesting place, more so than anyone suspects. If Zerka Corporation knew, the planet would be a strip mine. The Wookiees have their legends that they were not always here, but it is more than that. The trees themselves are strangers. What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way, and you won't find what you need without my help. And my help has a price. You must do a task for me, and then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain barriers in your path. 
Oh, save it. I know this sounds absurd, but I'm old and entitled to work you around a bit. Besides, the test is simple. Since they began expanding in the Shadowlands, the Circa have left me alone for the most part. Until recently, anyway. A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I'd like them removed from this place. They don't respect this place. They're butchering wildlife and threatening entire species. It's getting under my skin. The Wookiees could take care of themselves if they wished, but the animals are truly helpless victims. Oh, please, this is arbitrary errand work. But such are the requests of the aged. You still have to do it. Their camp is in the far northeast. Now remember, if I wanted them dead, I'd have done it myself. Find a better way. They are not that far northeast of here. There's usually five in the area, as far as I can see. The captain of the lot is the one that earned my ire. Mishandle my garden, Willie. <laughs> You presumably have a ship. I've seen all I wish to hear. Isn't that enough? I mean, I'm really sick of the trees. And perhaps your destiny might show me something new. You never know. Don't talk back to your elders, child. Look, they know me quite well, and are always on alert when I approach. The only way I could get rid of them would be violence, which would eventually lead to trouble for the Wookiees. I want them gone. But with as little fuss as possible, they have already caused enough trouble as it is. Good. Return to me here and we'll see how you have done. Shoo! Shoo! Welcome back! I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done as I asked? <sighs> fine, fine. Just be brief. Yes, among the Wookiees. Intriguing creatures. I like that they have little patience for bureaucrats. But of course, even here, there are hidden things that manipulate. Circa Corporation was smart to put him in power. He's as good at destroying Wookiee culture as dropping corpses full of our Droxian flu. Will you work for him or against him, I wonder? I will be interested to see. Uh, sure. How's this? Think for yourself. I don't care for politics, and I'm big on letting people figure things out for themselves. The Wookiees have prophecies of deliverance if you ask them, but for now they follow without hesitation. That is their wish. Maddened with grief, perhaps, but not crazed, I helped him pass to the lower forest where only a Wookiee could follow. Some other matters will determine if you can follow. There is a barrier that, well, we'll talk of that more in a moment. It is a very unfortunate matter. It will end in shame and sorrow. You will find Roar War down here, and more. I've witnessed a number of happenings, but I've left them for others to sort out. I wasn't aware I had to be. Look, events like these reveal much about the people involved. I'm well past that introspective tripe. I'm not saying that outside help isn't needed, I just... well... I didn't want to make anyone mad while I didn't have a way off the planet. We'll talk more about that momentarily. Well, her. Malfunction. My primary motivators are in the push. Error. Damage terminal. Playback calls you, Malfunction. Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. We need Matten to work the sensors. Playback. When he gets back, we'll... Wait, I'm getting something. Oh good, it's Eli. Maybe he'll point us in the right direction. Playback. Eli, what are you... You got your money, you double-crossing snake! We had a deal! <laughs> Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. Playback. When he gets back... Playback. Eli, what are you... Shutting down. Primary systems failing.
Okay, I'm gonna do this later. I'm here. Sure. Who are you, another civil merchant like that coral slime up on the docking ring? This is my territory. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back topside. Mess with my profits, and I'll see you dead. He's got no authority with me. I'm with Zerka Corporation. He's just some pet we keep so the locals stay in line. 
As long as you don't get in my way, you can wander where you want. I've got a job to do. I could use an extra hand. A couple men have gone missing. If I lose many more, I'll have to close up shop. We are hunting the little simians, the tack. They have a gland that acts as a stimulant when powdered. I figure I've got two or three wealthy years to butcher the lot of them. You want in before I make them extinct? Uh, no. I'll be rich by then, and we won't need to do it anymore. I don't have to worry about it. Besides, if there's no more tack, the predators that eat them will die off, and we'll have an easier time milking this planet. Well, I'm wasting too much time on you as it is. Hurry up, you're eating into my profits. Good. I'm not down here to direct traffic. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our harvesting here. Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand. And that's all there is to it. I'm just a guard for this emitter. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? I'm not here because I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter and that's it. Talk to the commander. No more dangerous than walking out on the commander. He'd kill me for disobeying orders. I'm not here... They generate a sonic barrier that allows us to stay in this wonderful location. It keeps the big predators away. I don't know how it works, really. I just know that if they go down, the camp would be overrun. What of it? I don't like being here, that's for sure. I suppose you could take this code and shut down the emitter I'm guarding. Enough of those emitters go down and the camp will have to move out. But I never said anything. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the command... I'm just a guard for this emitter. Why couldn't they just... What do you want to know about that? It's... I don't like being here, that's for sure. Enough of the... I'm here. What? Huh? What can I do? Yes?
And we will continue this in the next episode. So if you liked this one, give it a like, dislike if you think it sucked, and until then, may the force be with you.